Hey everybody, Scott here. It's I Suck Sticks, Heart Cinema, Episode 6. That rhymes to a degree. Don't fight me on this. So this episode, we had a special guest joining us live via Skype. And as a result, we were so excited, we talked for three hours. So in mercy to your ears, we have split it up into two more digestible one and one half hour episodes. Here is the first of those two. Please enjoy with my compliments. All right, and we are here with, what are we on? It's episode 6. Gone. Episode 6? Episode 6 already. We've already blown the levels out on it. Let's hope. <laughs> episode 6, Let's Hope, a Bicycle Sticks, Heart Cinema. We have our most amount of people here ever. Wouldn't it be great if there were six people here? No, nope, well, the sixth was Dan. We have five, and the sixth would be Dan. <laughs> so thank you, Lucky Stars. It's not. <laughs> Uh, who do we have? We got me, Scott Henson. To my left, Drew Sarian. To, to, who just did a spit take for no reason when I announced his name. To Drew's across from... Visual gags on a podcast. <laughs> visual gags on a podcast. One. To Drew's across from him, Kelly Summers. To Kelly's left, Justin Chu. And live via satellite, the national treasure of Cincinnati, Ohio. Ah, the brotherly state. The brethren. No, I think we figured out earlier that the national treasure of Cincinnati, Ohio, is wild hogs. We, <laughs> <laughs> we were going to say March shot. <laughs> That's true. We but, do love our racism in Cincinnati, so yeah, we like our you do. Hero. <laughs> but yes, our fifth person live from where the hell in Florida are you right now? I'm in Spring Hill, about forty minutes from Tampa. Forty minutes from Tampa, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, Nick. Unthank. You may know him as Nick Thorne. If you haven't watched Backyard Wrestling on a computer in more than ten years, then sin. S I N N. S I N N. That's correct. That's right. That's how you do it. <laughs> no, you can't just go the word. Yeah. You have to make the word cool. You gotta put a Y in there. Yeah, right you gotta here. Spike Lee that shit. <laughs> Well, I couldn't put a Y in it because a fat chick from OVW had a Y in her name. That's right. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I, was in, I was S-I-N-N for a while, but then I realized that Kazarni was that for years, so I was like, ah, I should probably change it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was weird when I met him not too long ago. Oh, yeah? So it was weird when I met Kazarni not too long ago. I was like, do I bring up this part of conversation or do I just leave it alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brought it up. Yeah, that's a tough call. <laughs> I decided to talk about his furry pants instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's an interesting dude. Uh, Kingpin uh, wrestled on a show with him last year, yeah, I think, last year. in uh, in Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah, like totally out of the blue. Kingpin's first match in four years. First professional match ever. <laughs> Was it that weird... <laughs> That weird thing that they videotaped or whatever? Or yeah, like? it was some weird thing. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't, yeah. It, the whole thing was strange, but yeah. Bill just told me one day, yeah, I'm going yeah, I'm going to Las Vegas to wrestle with Kizarni. I'm like, okay, whatever. You lead a different life than me. <laughs> 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 yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, so the way this came about was, I guess, Nick, you saw, because we've been posting these episodes, and you saw them posted somewhere, probably on the Facebooks. You have categories? And, uh, oh, yeah. and yeah, and then you then you shot me a message, and you're like, hey, can I do this? Because I want to do this with my friends, but none of my friends have ever seen a movie before. <laughs> <laughs> All of my friends want to go out and see Ted on opening night, so I can't really talk to them about movies. Right. <laughs> That's a good indicator. Yeah, so we got Nick here, and, um... We're all kind of worried that Nick is going to smoke us all at the game because we're pretty sure you're good at this. Um, not really. My taste in musies, movies. <laughs> my, my taste in musies. Is that your cute way of saying musicals? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I I'm prefer a, musies. A <laughs> um, my taste in movies kind of skews a little bit more towards. 80s comedies and, like, random horror exploitation kind of stuff. Yeah, I know you so like your... into the realm of, like, Kurosawa or, like, Francis Ford Coppola, any of that shit, totally don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Francis Ford Coppola, so, like, movies like Jack, which was actually directed by Francis Ford Coppola. 
Was it really? I yes. No absolutely. Oh, yeah. It, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Doesn't that blow your fucking mind? <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Apocalypse Now. Godfather. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Robin Williams as a child, child man. Who, a child man. Whose yeah. friend's mom wants to bang him. <laughs> but hey, he's not like Big. He doesn't actually bang her. Whereas in Big, Tom Hanks does bang that chick. But he, like... <laughs> Somehow it's okay in Big, but it wouldn't be okay in Jack. Because in Big, it was no, magic. No, it's in Jack, it's okay progeria. It's still, <laughs> it's still a kid. It doesn't matter if it's progeria or not. It's a kid in a man's body having sex with a woman. Whatever, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somehow the magic makes it okay. Like, uh, magic, like, supersedes, like, age of consent laws, <laughs> rape, <laughs> rape. <laughs> like, it was it, the 80s, it's acceptable. Everything's right. cool if you involve magic. <laughs> right. Jack didn't make a transformer, a Chrysler transformer building, so I guess that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. There's actually, did you know, at the end of Big, he goes back into his classroom and sits down, and, like, one of the extras, like, this little girl, shoots the main actor at glance, and there's a huge rumor going around that the chick found the, um, the genie machine, and so she wished to be a kid again, so they could be together. Oh! Oh. Ooh. Apparently that was some kind of, either that was a deleted ending, or that was just a giant rumor that was started that only no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> I've, heard of, I've heard that before, anyway. I like it. I've never, yeah, I've never heard that. That's pretty awesome, though. <laughs> Maybe she realizes, like, well, I mean, I've already sinned in the eyes of the Lord. I might as well try. And let's fix let's go. Let's go for it. I'll just jump straight into voodoo and you know yeah. be a kid again. So, oh, <laughs> uh, that's your solution to everything, voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> a domestic disturbance. Going yeah, there on. may be a domestic disturbance going on one house away from us. <laughs> I think it's that way. It's behind. Um, yeah. It's fine. We, Whatever. We've we, we, we we broadcasted through worse. If we hear gunshots, we'll just stay here. Yeah, if, if we hear gunshots, we won't call the police. <laughs> <laughs> like we always do. <laughs> yeah, so, Nick, you mentioned right. a movie earlier by the name of Wild Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... Which we forced you to watch as your initiation. <laughs> yeah, as, I, as I started this test phone call with, I wasn't sure if you were actually wanting to talk about this movie, or if this was just some, some kind of weird, sick joke. Oh no, we want to talk about it. <laughs> so I well, wasn't sure, but... No, we definitely want to talk about it. Although it would be a... If, it, if we were going to play a sick joke, it would also be with the movie Wild <laughs> <laughs> Like, this would be no different. The situation would be the same. It just so happens that we that three of us did actually watch it, and if we don't talk about it, We'll we'll die because <laughs> you have to get it out. To yes. You have to take the power away away from the movie. You have to talk about it. So yeah, it's uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Drew, talk about the movie. I have, to, I have to collect my thoughts about Wild Hogs. <laughs> well, okay, I will say that with Wild Hogs is they're they're like bad movies. They're easy to watch because they're so terrible. They were like, oh my god, that's horrible. Yeah, but this, like, Chewie had the best description yeah, of this movie. Let me yeah. jump in on it and, and, and divulge my thoughts on the whole situation here. So, I feel like there is a bottom threshold for bad movies. Whereby, if you fall below that threshold, you can actually enjoy that bad movie because it's so terrible. This is crazy. Know, it's so crazy, and you know that they know that they're producing absolute garbage. So, you can actually enjoy it. But Wild Hogs sat just above that threshold. <laughs> so, in some sick mind of a producer, they were taking it seriously. They thought they were making a comedy goal. Yeah, like they nailed it. <laughs> and that is why... I actually took well, notes because I didn't really want to pay too, much, too close of attention. <laughs> One of the notes I put was that this movie was a great experiment. It was a comedy with no humor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they forgot, to, uh, they forgot to have things happen or add jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was one of those comedies ahead of its time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, if you look at it, though, like, the, the main actors in the movie, you've got Tim Allen, who, for the most part, is funny. He has some funny stuff. I don't know. The world would be a better place if they let him do Coke again. Yes. If he was still he should to definitely do Coke, be on Coke, he would be the biggest <laughs> thing in America. But instead, he gets stuck doing kids' movies to pay back all those people that he did terrible things to in Hollywood <laughs> during the 80s and 90s. Um, and then you have 
William H. Macy, who I don't know who he owed favors to. Oh, but William H. Macy lost a bet. He should this movie. he should have said no to this film because they not only did they give him the worst character in the movie, but he is actually a skilled actor who should not be doing garbage like this. Here's a fun thing to do: watch Magnolia. And then watch Wild Hogs, <laughs> and then kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, uh, then there's John Travolta, who we agreed was a is a is a, 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 a good actor. He's not a great actor, but he's not a horrible. He's a passable actor. He's yeah, done some decent stuff. He's done some good movies. He's done some garbage movies. Like, he, you know, on the one hand, you've got Phenomenon. And on the <laughs> other hand, you've got Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which hand it's which. But <laughs> you get my point. <laughs> yeah, and but he, he was the worst actor in this movie. Like, by far. Yeah, every, he was actually every, really bad. Every like, line they gave him, every, like, reaction they gave him was horrible. It was remarkably it was, bad. It was so stupid and, and beyond silly. Like, it, it was like you were watching a kid's movie. Like, legitimately a kid's movie where he's just being a goof the whole time. Yeah, and, this, and this wasn't really a kid's by movie. By kids. Like, it wasn't really a kid's movie. No, no. not necessarily. They're like, there was some swearing in it. and There was some butts. And some butts. <laughs> two butts. Yeah, speaking of butts, do you think the guy that was the double for William H. Macy's ass goes around, like, bragging about that at bars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to answer that question with a question. I'm going to answer that question with a question. Wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had William H. Macy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that Think, is... Things John Travolta has said. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, the like uh, we didn't write down much. Drew just wrote down a few things, <laughs> most most of which were lines John Travolta said in the movie that he has also said in real life. And I will turn it over to Drew. I will turn it over well, to Drew with that. The one. problem is, is that we thought of, we were listening to them, we were laughing along with them. Then we decided that we were yeah. going to do so them. So one one we missed. So one we missed. But the two I wrote down were when they're in the the uh, the scene where they're all uh, skinny dipping, and they're and they all decide to take off their trunks, and John Travolta doesn't want to. And then he goes, yeah, fine, I'll take off my trunks and with my gay friends. <laughs> Which that stuck out to me as well. Yes. And also, then I yeah, thought, like, how long yeah, after they said cut did he have to wait in that water to confirm <laughs> his, his awkward erection? <laughs> For his boner to come down. Did anybody else picture the scared PAs on, on the outside of the camera? Like, every time the scene was over, they would all just stand there so proud of themselves, and all those PAs would be like, Yeah, that's really good, thanks. Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. And does anybody else agree that Stephen Hoblowski is actually the most believable actor in this fucking movie? I, he is one of two. He is great. The only two watchable actors in this movie are Stephen Tobolowski and John C. McGinley. Who you also get to see his butt. Whose butt you also get to see. <laughs> and almost his dick. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very close call. Uh, the, the other really gay Travolta line of When he's teaching William H. Macy yeah, to dance. He's teaching William H. Macy to dance, and he, he leads first, and then he says to him, Okay, you be the guy, and I'll be the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something he said. Yeah, and again, moment. just the second he said it, we're like, yep, classic <laughs> and the, Travolta. And the thing, too, is they made him the, the, the more homophobic character in the movie, because they gave him the lines of, like, when, when William H. Macy's riding bitch on his motorcycle, and... He smells him because his cologne smells good, and he threatens him, if you ever smell me again, I'll throw you into traffic. And then what was the other homophobic one he made? I think, I think it was just when they were skinny dipping. Oh, I guess it was, yeah, and then it was you. Yeah. So they make the man who is the most obvious secret gay be the most gay hater in the movie. <laughs> Which, uh, the, <laughs> my favorite Travolta thing is a, a joke Scott Ackerman made, I guess, on Comedy Bang Bang, um, where, uh... He was talk there was an interview with uh, Travolta where they asked him, and, and, and very important to say, this was before his son died, so it was not as tasteless. <laughs> um, and someone asked him why he named his son Jet, and he says, oh, because I love Jets more than anything in the world, so I named my son Jet. And Aquaman goes, oh, then why didn't he name him Men's Assholes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
which is just about my favorite joke ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, another thing I wrote down, because it, it pertains to the same uh, scene where they're in the... Oh, yes. Where they're in the spring skinny dipping was how terrible... Uh, like, the terrible shape that three of those four actors are in. Like, Tim Allen had the most depressing old man titties I have ever seen. Like, his chest could not have been any less, like, bony up top, saggy titties <laughs> hanging down below it. I said it wasn't depressing, it was depressed. The tits themselves were sad. <laughs> yes, they were very sad. And, like, Travolta looked terrible, and, like, Martin Lawrence, who generally in his career has been a skinny guy. A skinny dude. Yeah. But he's, like... Pretty fat. He's guy. weird. He's, he's weirdly stocky. chunky. Yeah, but he is stocky. The only the only person involved in that scene who was in good shape was John C. McKinley, McKinley, who was fucking ripped. <laughs> <laughs> and he's about the same age as those guys. Yeah, McGill- yeah for, sure, for sure. McGinley's not young. No, oh, but he, you know, he's a doctor. You know, he did scrubs for forty two years, <laughs> so, yeah, so he's got to be at least, you know, <laughs> the only one that stayed committed to that show. Yeah, seriously, the rest of them mailed it in after season six. Yeah. Yeah, you can really take a pass on Scrubs in the last, you know, half <laughs> of each episode. <laughs> you, should, you should watch the first half of every episode for nine seasons. But then, you know, then it peters out towards the end. Ugh. And then, yeah, like... Um, Let's talk about Martin Lawrence's character for a little bit here. Oh, yeah. God! <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> two for, like, there's two levels on which Martin Lawrence's character doesn't work. One, he's friends with three middle-aged bikers. No three middle-aged white bikers have a black friend, period. End of discussion. <laughs> I don't know All right, that. let me jump in here for a second. Yeah. Is, is this, movie, if this movie takes place in Cincinnati. Yes. I was born and raised in Cincinnati. Yes. You don't have black friends when you live in Cincinnati. <laughs> no, yeah, period. Even, you know, bikers or not. If you're white, you don't have black friends. <laughs> you, you, you don't. Yeah, you don't. I believe I schools are still segregated, poster, right? No. Are schools still segregated in Cincinnati? We don't have schools in Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. I retract my. I retract my question. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So that's the, the first level, and the second level is that Martin Lawrence's character doesn't exist in the real world, and uh, Justin will explain why because he nailed it when we were watching it. There is no black man in the world who has a heavy gauge loop earring in one ear <laughs> who goes around town with a bunch of white folks on a Harley wearing leathers. Yeah, have you ever seen a black guy riding a motorcycle in proper leathers? No. No. Never. Have you ever seen a black guy riding a motorcycle? <laughs> Blade? Blade. Blade. Blade was the only one. <laughs> and, he was, and he was only half black. He was half black, half vampire. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly. Well, his, his, va- his vampire no, half black. The fact that he doesn't pay taxes takes, takes Jay over the vampire part. <laughs> <laughs> again. I, wasn't that Snipes' defense that he only paid half his taxes because the vampire half was dead and he didn't have to pay that part? That, that was my understanding. He used the, he used the blade defense. <laughs> okay, I, I want to say how how horrible were the Ray Liotta punches thrown in this movie? Ray Liotta? Okay, okay Ray Liotta. Liotta. First of all, his name is Ray Liotta. <laughs> Not Ray Liotta. Secondly... I feel this may offend some. He punched like a faggot. <laughs> Can we agree? Yeah, yeah. We, we also widely agreed that Ray Liotta is considered the worst actor of all time. Yeah, at, near near the end of the movie, I, I turned to Drew, I'm like, Ray Liotta's the worst in everything, right? And Drew, like, very quickly agreed. <laughs> Only because of the, your, your least favorite uh, Guy Ritchie movie. Oh, man. <laughs> Where he is literally, like, he is orange. Like, he is Randy Orton Orton. Have you seen Revolver, Nick? I have not. Actually, I was thinking about watching it today. Dude, watch watch it whenever you next get a chance, and we will talk about it when next we speak. Because that movie, I like Guy Ritchie, or at a point, I like Guy Ritchie. That movie is a fucking mess. Yeah, I've heard that. And Leota is a joke in it. Has Leota been decent in anything aside from Goodfellas? No, that's what we're trying to say. Uh, He stinks in everything. Yeah, I'm gonna say he hasn't done a whole lot of good stuff. Goodfellas is the only thing I can think oh, of. Oh, yeah. Hannibal. We agree that he was. Oh, he's been Hannibal. Was he good just because he had to eat his yeah, own brains? Yeah. brains? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know Any if that's actor actually... who has to be forced to eat their own brains is doing a good job. Now, Drew, I'm gonna break something <laughs> to you here. I don't know if he did that for real. <laughs> what? 
I understand if he did it for real, that's a hell of a commitment, and he probably should have got more recognition for it. <laughs> but I think some of that might have been props. Scott, you have just ruined movies for me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is this the end of the podcast? Nick, Nick, Nick will see you later. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. <laughs> I was under the impression that everything that happens in movies... Uh, Ray the Order eating his own brain. Every movie is a documentary. 11-year-old Dakota Fanning getting raped. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. The guy on the toilet in Jurassic Park getting eaten by a dinosaur. Oh, T-Rex. Yep. All of this is real to me. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. Every, everything in a Serbian film. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Never again will I see that movie. Oh, worst. <laughs> Do you have any other bits and pieces on uh, on Wild Hogs, Nick? Um, the other notes I have... Uh, I wasn't expecting a white zombie music cue. No! <laughs> we're, like, oh, oh, we're like, oh, shit, Pitbull, ECW. <laughs> <laughs> And Poor the other thing is, is coming out to the make most a save. ruthless biker gang in all of New Mexico, and they're swayed by $50,000? Yes. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> that, 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 that whole film a man's life forty thousand dollars for a bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the cheapest bar in the world for the record. Such a cheap bar. But let's talk about the whole conclusion of the film. Oh okay. yes. So you have fifty-five bikers. Not one of them is carrying a weapon, any kind on them. So they beat up on four fifty-year-old dudes. And the way they beat them up is one punch, they fall down, and then they stand there and let them get back up and don't jump all over them and tear them the fuck apart like, like any respectable biker gang would. <laughs> yeah. So how, okay, so in Hollywood, you always try to get that Hollywood in it. You always try to uh, vindicate the uh, the protagonists of the film and have them, you know, walk, you know, right away to the sunset, victorious, right? Through, through their own actions. Through their own actions. Yes, they always have to uh, overcome their own adversities and and come out on top. So how this film concludes? <laughs> that four fifty old guys, fair enough, being beat up by a gang of. Uh, yeah, of, like, of, of hooligans yeah. and extras from Lost. Yeah, by, by, from by Lost. Ray Liotta and the supporting cast of Lost. <laughs> but how they are vindicated in the film <laughs> is they have an even older guy come in <laughs> and talk down those bikers. And basically they tell the bikers to knock it off. <laughs> tell the bikers to knock it off. And that is how they are vindicated. Yeah. They yeah. are completely immaculated and shown as completely impotent. And, and, to, and to say, the, the, the old man that makes the save is Peter Fonda. Who, of course, made famous the role in Easy Rider of like a, a biker, right? Like that's one of the essential yeah, that, that motorcycle like, rider, bike ri- bike riding movies of all time. Yeah, and I guarantee you that Peter Fonda, as soon as he got off camera, walked up to the director and said, "Where the fuck's my money?" And Took left it and left without another because word. Because there is no reason for a guy who has that much acclaim, a guy who is Peter Fonda. <laughs> has to reprise the the same type of role that made him famous in the 60s in this piece of shit. <laughs> like, I, I honestly, I thought he would have had more integrity Here, than to do this. This is the conversation. This is the conversation. How much would a Ghost Rider movie? I don't think he really has That's integrity. true. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's true. He did do Ghost Rider. How much would it cost we to didn't get know. your legacy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much money can we give you to make everybody think that you're an old asshole? But you know what? Christopher Plummer did say it correctly, which is shit pays the bills. So yeah. maybe he was broke. It regrettably does. He had gambling debts, and somebody had some blackmail on him, so he had to do wild hogs. Yeah, someone did the But at the same time, they couldn't pull Jack Nicholson away from a basketball game. <laughs> Dennis Hopper didn't need drug money. Just get all of Easy Rider in there. Those <laughs> yeah. But Dennis Hopper's too busy killing women on boats. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and yeah, just and dying of cancer. Like right after the last scene, yeah. after, <laughs> right after the last scene in the movie, I'm like, all right, headline reads: five lame fifty year olds saved by we'll eighty year olds. <laughs> Great. Well, no, I mean, for we'll play against you, okay. Do some so stuff. yeah, I think the moral of this story is go watch Wild Dogs right now. <laughs> if yeah. you if you know what's good for you, yeah. If you if you haven't if you have already watched Old Dogs, which is the movie I was confused with it, and probably the next movie we're gonna watch. Because <laughs> what what's the common thread besides the fact that Sam was in Travolta's in both? Travolta's right? in both. Yeah, and, and he plays a stupid guy like character in both. Oh, good. But at least we get to look forward to an old dog. We get to look forward to uh, that ginger-haired fuck, Seth Green. I feel like Seth Green beat you up or something. You hate him so much. <laughs> no, it's just because he is the gingeriest of gingers I've ever seen. And being half ginger 
Oh, doesn't show, very sensitive but I'm a self-hating half ginger. <laughs> well, I would imagine most gingers are pretty self-loathing. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, it's genetic. If they're capable of emotion. <laughs> ah, yes. Speaking of Seth Green, if you guys were looking for Cincinnati movies, why didn't we watch the Seth Green rollerblading masterpiece Airborne? Shit, I didn't even know that. <laughs> it was actually filmed in Cincinnati. Hmm. And I, don't, I, I don't think we watched Wild Hogs with the intention that it was Cincinnati. I no, think we just, it was just a clever coincidence. Yeah, we got lucky. Oh, okay, that's just, that's just my ego speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? We probably should have thought of that, though. But it, Hey, it worked it, out. It worked out, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, have you you've seen the Seth Green one? Yeah, actually, and it's Ricky Shane Page's favorite movie. Ricky Shane Page is a silly goose. <laughs> so, his favorite wrestler is Stevie Look Richards. So, yeah. take that into account. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I assume the movie was awesome? Uh, it's... <laughs> it's more fun. What can, okay. What the fuck? Uh, there's a... Zach Black's in it, for one. Kyle Gass was in Wild Hogs. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, okay. So, well, then they have a lot of things in common. <laughs> <laughs> in that they have... Tenacious D in Cincinnati, so they have two. Yeah. Um, like I said, we don't have schools in Cincinnati. <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's got Jack Black in it, and there there's a gang of rollerbladers of course. who make fun of a kid from California because he surfs. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still and surf in Cincinnati? That's the crux of the fact that they're villains. <laughs> he can surf the Ohio River, couldn't he? Sure. Surf the Great Lakes? Uh, sure, the mob will make him do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, the Ohio River is basically, it's like one half of the bodies you would find in the Hudson. <laughs> only, only half. So they cleaned it up. Cincinnati is, have you guys ever watched Boardwalk Empire? Yeah. All right. I'm be Cincinnati Cincinnati is basically it's on my watch list. But... What was that next? Sorry? Cincinnati was built by the mob. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty dirty there. <laughs> Physically and uh, character-wise. Yeah, you guys, have, you guys were down there, weren't you? We've been through it. Haven't spent uh, a lot of time there because usually it's been Cleveland when we've gone to uh, Ohio. Which? Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. What, what are your opinions on Cleveland versus Cincinnati? I've only been to Cleveland twice. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is an overpriced piece of shit. That's what I hear. And it's frigidly cold. Huh. Interesting note. In the Hall of Fame or in Cleveland in general? Or like oh. emotionally? <laughs> I got to wa I got to read uh, John Lennon's... He wrote a letter to his mom saying what he wanted for Christmas. His two front teeth? That's all, that's all I remember. Christmas shoes? No, not... It wasn't John Lennon. It was, it was uh, Jim Morrison because they're apparently the same guy. Oh, was it, uh, was it heroin? That he wanted, <laughs> and then he got it. Alcohol. <laughs> Best Christmas ever. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure that was worth the seventy-five dollars admission or whatever the fuck it was. It was pretty damn near that. It's terrible. Yeah, I um, yeah, because yeah, we've been there a couple. We've been to Cleveland a couple times, and each time we're like, yeah, should we go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? And we're like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it's probably not worth it. So, yeah, sounds like we made the right call. <laughs> so how's, uh, how's Florida treating you? Uh, it's Florida, so it's pretty much the asshole of my country. Pretty much a warmer Cincinnati? Everybody says it's the dick? No, it's totally the asshole. <laughs> is it 24-7 swamp butt? 24-7 <laughs> swamp butt with a bunch of really old people for <laughs> the cast of... Every teenage reality show you've ever seen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, it's like it seems like such a weird cross section of people you get in Florida. You get old retired Jews and illegal immigrant Cuban drug dealers. Like I don't know how they Actually, mix. If you want to know what Florida's like, go to a mall and populate a state with those people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sounds accurate and depressing. <laughs> Oh, when we have Disney World. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Well, then that fixes everything, right? <laughs> it's sad, but I actually agree with you. <laughs> it's the other reason I'm still here. <laughs> and how long you've been there? Like, uh, I was going to guess how long uh, you've been there, but I really don't have a good idea. Years. So, was that two years? Two years. I'm actually moving back to Cincinnati next year, though. Oh, really? Are you? Are you? Are you teaching in Florida? 
I'm a dick. I work at a preschool. That counts. I'm you're, a daycare. There's daycare there's you worker. and kids, and you're not, you know, doing stuff to them, so... <laughs> you get yeah. you to call yourself a teacher. You're not a diddler. <laughs> yeah, let's just say, in Florida, nobody has a problem with Big or Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good to know. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. does uh, is this time for some? Does anybody hunger for some games? I hunger for games. Does, does the queen declare the games open? I the queen declares the games <laughs> to be open. Okay, I know the queen has been like old for a while. Yeah. Like, she looked like grim fucking death at the Olympics. Did what she was parachuted in? Yeah. <laughs> like that. You would look pretty haggard too if you parachuted into this. Yeah. She looked into this. Turn some slack, Scott. She looked really old, really ugly, and really miserable. I don't know what, like, I know she's... She's 196! But I feel like I saw her last year, and she was fine. Like, like I don't know... Like, you, you, had, you had tea with her? We hit, yeah, we, hung, had, out, we hung out last summer. We summer together. And, <laughs> and she didn't look that bad, and I don't know, they did not... Is it, like, Under the Tuscan Sun? Yes. Which you saw? No. No. I just know that it's a movie that it has... Really oh, no, I'm confusing really that with uh, A Good Year is what I'm thinking. Yes. Of. And you saw that. Yes. And it was... A bag of shit. Okay. <laughs> Ridley Scott should never be allowed to make a slapstick comedy no, starring... I, I was going to say, before you say that, no. I was going to say, I haven't seen this, but what? let me guess who the star is in this Ridley <laughs> Scott movie. Ridley Scott movie, movie. Regardless of it's a comedy. Based on... It's basically... The concept of the movie is that his, his uncle dies and his uncle owns a, a vineyard in uh, southern France... He's like a... Sofra. Yes, Sofra. Yeah. And he's a big-time businessman in England, and when his uncle dies, he inherits the, the, the vineyard, but it literally is a, it's a comedy. Okay. So it is Russell Crowe... Falling down in the vineyard? Falling down, doing <laughs> things... Stepping like, on a race. <laughs> yeah. It's a slapstick comedy made by, with an actor who has no concept of, 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 of comedy, period. There's what nothing was made. 2006? Sorry, so was, did, were we talking about Vince Vaughn or someone? <laughs> 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 Who are we talking about now? Uh, we're talking about Kevin James. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of Kevin James, I do have a few things from the corrections department. Oh, yes, before we get into games, uh, we before, should <laughs> have a note from the corrections the department. The corrections department, uh, on the, not the last one, but the one that we reviewed, uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop. Uh, I said that Kevin James was from Chicago. He's actually from New York City. He just, He's just butt buddies with Vince Vaughn, who is from Chicago. Yeah. All right. uh, he was born in 1965, which means he's 47. And Gemma Mays, who was the love interest, was born in 1979, making her 33. So the age difference was, in fact, a little gross. And she looks younger than 33. And she does look younger than 33. She looks 20. Yeah. Uh, These are really corrections that needed to be. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what happens, Kelly. Don't don't argue with the corrections right. department. We don't have to like. I get, the I get, I get, you know the format. Kelly. I get angry messages on Twitter from nobody. But <laughs> I, I angrily tweet myself about things I fucked up on the previous from podcast. your from your ghost account from my ghost account. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the ghost uh, of Drew Sarri on Twitter. I also say uh, Amber, it's Amber, it's Amber Valletta, Valletta, not Rada Mitchell and Hitch. And to redefine what the city that Kelly and I live in, called Coquitlam, I said that it meant something along the lines of Nothing. smelly fish. It actually stands for red fish up the river. And I don't, um, I don't like that, because I can't make a song about that. Smelly fish, smelly fish. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all the corrections I have from the last from two episodes ago. All right, well... Thank God we covered that. Well, <laughs> hey, it happens. I gotta correct myself. Heaven forbid we can live the rest of our lives with those yeah. lies. All those non-existent angry tweets. And now I'm gonna find out that Vince Vaughn's not actually from Chicago and have to correct that next time. <laughs> <laughs> and also that Vince Vaughn's not actually funny. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What? You're telling me he's not great in the shot-for-shot -shot remake of Psycho? <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only movie he was funny in was Psycho. I liked him in his first show. Vince Vaughn bangs your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All so right. let's get these games started. Let's get into a game. So we've got... This might be the... Like, we've decided that this episode might get broken up into three parts, not two. Oh, the Hobbit treatment. Because all yes. four of us have categories this time, not just two or three of us. 
Yeah, so this is going to be... Well, we did start a lot earlier this time. Last time, time we started time wise, at 10.30. Yeah, we started at 10.30. And we now started at, we started at, what, 8.45 or something? 8.30? Yeah, close to 8.30, here, yeah. So. 4 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, so Nick, we'll have you done and in bed by 3 a.m. latest. Promise. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to work till Monday, so... Excellent. Because okay, so we'll be doing this until Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess let's start with, uh, are you familiar with the game that we, we haven't come up with a name for it yet, but uh, ABC D's Nuts, which yes. is the game where you start with the letter of the alphabet, so Scott starts with A, he has the name of it, starts yeah. with A, and then I go B, C, D, all the way down until it's only one person left. Yeah, you're a regular Doug listener, right, yeah. Nick? Yes. Yeah. yeah so, so, and then obviously movies that start with A or A, and if it starts with the, it's T. Yeah. A and T are super easy. Everything else harder. Yeah. Uh, and so we're good. And then I guess whichever one of us wins will be hosting first. And if sure. you win, you can decide who hosts first. Oh, dealer's choice. Dealer's Ooh. choice. I like it. So if you would like to start us off with A. And we will go. Uh, we'll go we, will, we will go clockwise from you, and but you, but you don't know which one of us is clockwise from you. <laughs> you don't fun, know where you are. It'll be a fun surprise. Uh, I also want to start before anything. Okay. I swear I am not cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's, actually, that's actually a good point. Nick Nick in his messages to me <laughs> insured me on two separate occasions in like twenty four hours. Like I promise I won't cheat. <laughs> If he sweeps the board in every game, I think we might have to call cheat. There'll be there'll be an investigation. <laughs> Four and or three and zero sweeps across the board. <laughs> Inquisition. Yeah. My headphones are so terrible. I have to literally press them on my ears so I couldn't even type to find anything. <laughs> <laughs> Both hands are occupied. <laughs> uh, a uh, apocalypse now. We'll just go with that one. I will go with big. I will go with Castaway, although I think I've used it before, but that's fine. I will go with Donnie Darko. Ah, it comes to me now. Everybody loves me. That's the show. (laughs) (laughs) Also, it's only called Everybody Loves Me when (laughs) Raymond Raymond says it. I say it in the Raymond voice, so it counts. Oh, come, on, come on, brother. E. Yeah, bro. Oh, <laughs> keep it up. E. Oh, what was so bad at this? Justin, stop panicking. <laughs> and think of a movie that starts with E. Oh, do I help my Nope. No help. No, I'm, I'm a big boy. I can do this. <laughs> I'm going to help these. Eagle. There you go. There you go. That's the eagle. Fine, <laughs> eagle eye. Fuck you. There you go. <laughs> hey, there we go. Nick, back to you. Freddy got fingered. Ooh. High school high. Uh, Wait. <laughs> G? G. Let's go G. I was already lined up for H because I don't know the Canada alphabet. Either. Let's go great expectations. Uh, I will say the... Oh, it's the shit. Uh, Hutch. What's Hutch? Is that Hitch's friend? <laughs> it's freaking... <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. A guy, a guy whose name is escaping me, I shit you not, it's a fucking Fine, movie. Fine, it's a thing. It's, uh, care. it's, uh, I'll look it up. But I know who, I know that it's a movie. <laughs> uh, what am I on, I? Yeah. Uh, Ides of March. Jumanji. Uh, Katie, you, Nick. Damn it, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure that was I thought it was a movie, too. I thought that was. <laughs> Why didn't you just say it? <laughs> Punch, comma, and start, or start as he and. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nick, did you say a K while you were laughing at you? K to me? Yeah. King Ralph. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Love Actually. What, no applause for Love Actually? Uh, My Giant. (laughs) (laughs) George Muradon is smiling on us. I don't think he's dead. He must be. All giants are dead. Yeah. I don't think he's dead. I really don't. Any giant who did something in the 90s is dead. Period. Right? Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. What year was the Water Boy? Two thousand. Mm. Haha. <laughs> you may have won this round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It might have been ninety nine, but I ain't telling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, end to me. End to you. End no way out. O to you, Nick. Ocean's Eleven. Pi. Quarantine. We're Ooh. good. So that's R to me. Yeah. Real steel. Uh, S to Nick. Why do robots need to sit down in between rounds? 
Classic question. Uh, Star Trek the motion picture. T. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, got that. <laughs> <laughs> the Shining. Am I on you? You to Kelly. Under the Tuscan Sun. <laughs> Whatever works. Oh, shout out to bad movie that none of us have seen. B for Vendetta. W. W to Nick. Uh, we were soldiers. X to me. I will go with... X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Y to Kelly. Youth and Revolt. And Z to Justin. Z for you, Nick. We don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Superman. Okay, you got the Z. I'm going to throw out that you guys now, since you all got around the alphabet. What are we doing? We're going to do same letter. So okay. now everybody has to do one of A, one of B, one right. of C, all the way around. Good. And sa same rules with the and Same rule with the and so everything starts with A and B, T is the... Alrighty. Okay, so we start with Nick, and everyone a. does A. Alright, uh, about a boy. A serious man. After Duck. Uh, stupid Joe lined up. Well, you mean a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an affair to remember. B. I prefer Tracy Morgan's uh, African American remake of it, uh, Blaffer to Remember Black. Beat to me is Biodome. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Not a good movie, I just feel like a pop to my head. Uh, be I cool. Didn't want anybody to know. Uh, I didn't want anybody to think I actually liked that. <laughs> no, you're not in danger. You said be cool? I said be, be cool. cool. Bad boys. Bad Boys 2. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> C to Nick. Chud. Catwoman. Hey, that was our Chud reference. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's it, Catwoman, when we were cheering, before we cheered. Yeah. Kelly. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Five. Oh, we could be losing one. Four, three, Castaway. Oh. oh. Are we, Maven? I, I already said that. Is he go? Are we going oh, to do that? that? I said that when we did the oh, first one. Yeah, you can't repeat. Okay. Uh, Tell you so, Tracy. Captain Corelli's mandolin. Wow. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> D to Nick, down to, th down to me, you, and Chewie. Dead alive. Dave. Dead or alive. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> e. Uh, Evil Dead 2. Ooh. Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The Evil Dead. What? It's The Evil Dead. Oh, oh it is The Evil Dead. Is it The Evil Dead 2? No, it's no, Evil, it Evil Dead 2. Well, well then... Not, but it is The Evil Dead. Alright, then shut up and give me him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought it was if you got the wrong, you're out. I think it's if you shut up, I won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that was the rule. Um, everybody's talking. Da -ba. <laughs> 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 there has to be every, every, every little thing she does is magic, the movie. <laughs> I'm out. Okay, Scott, I'm out. Justin. Oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta save this. I keep it going. Um... <laughs> Nope, that's not gonna work. Is there something with everybody's talking? Uh, no, everybody's talking now. No, 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 I'm not an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Everybody looked me talking. Drew showed you a movie that had that. What? Was it everybody? Was it, or was it, uh, it was with E. It was with E. Well, it's later in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, come on, it's gotta be something. Five. Four. Three, two, 
Push it. One. Come on, one. don't let this foreign bastard win the <laughs> first one. She was out. Oh. America wins. Oh. One for America. 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 Uh, one one American competing against four Canadian and the American one. What is this? The Olympics? Hey, who's with me? <laughs> <laughs> now, he showed you guys, he showed you a movie that had everyone in it. What was it? Everyone's Hero. Oh, see, oh. It, it, it couldn't have registered less with me. <laughs> I, like, I, I'm not, if you ask me in an hour, I'm not going to get it again. <laughs> I'll make sure to remember that. <laughs> All right, Nick, the inaugural winner of ABC D's Nuts. Who would you like to host the first game? Um, we'll go with Chewy. Going to Chewy. All right, my first hosting gig. So are we? Uh, Wait, you didn't host before. Right. Nope. Are we doing something then Mullen or going straight to Mullen? Uh, I guess this we can go straight to Mullen. This we can go straight to Mullen. We got a lot of games. We got a lot of games. There's a lot of games so to get in. Yeah. Wait, how many games are we doing? A hundred. Four. And like, no, like I mean, like one, one each. Okay, yeah, but that like we're we're doing Malton, right? And then, oh yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to do it. We don't. We're we're not, not, we got a lot to do. Exactly, we're, that's what I meant. Yeah, I don't think we'll do a game between each between round. Each yeah, I just no. think like, whoever wins hosts. <laughs> and if Nick wins, he. But I, no, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, what I thought it was like. So everybody does a mall thing, because like, we're yeah, all yeah. doing it. And then, are we doing something after that? No. Okay, no. okay. okay that's we were just talking if we would do something before, oh, like a build the title before a mall thing. So I'm like, we're this is already going to take long enough. All right, so who are we starting with then? Mr. Unthank. Because he won, I guess, so he can yeah, start. Yeah, I guess uh, you can take it away. So, so Nick, uh, position-wise, uh, physically, you're between me and Kelly. So depending okay. on whether it's going clockwise or counterclockwise, we'll let you know when you're up. <laughs> All right, uh, Nick, I'll give you uh, three categories to choose from here. Your categories are as follows. Uh, Ichi the Killer, movies featuring the word one in the title. What? That's a nerdy fucking category. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> hey, who said that? <laughs> uh, we have It's All About Location, movies with place names in the title. And we, last but not least, we go to the category Last but Not Least, movies featuring the word last in the title. All right. Uh, we'll go last but not least. All right. Last but not least. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's a big old, big old list of movies. He didn't say that to impress you guys. You got nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> last. Here we go. We have... Uh, let's go... 2006. I got the best category name. 1993. And 2010. Let's go 1993. 1993 it is. All right. I guess we're using, is this the IMDb app or is this the actual? Leonard. Leonard app. Okay. Oh, fancy. Mm. Pay for this too? I, I might have paid a buck 99, I'm not sure. All right. Us and our Canadian economy that we with can our, just throw money our, away. Our sweet cyber bucks. Bet you wish you had them, Nick. Oh, man. It's pretty sweet up here. We got like we got dollar ninety nine to throw around all over the place. <laughs> we got pools <laughs> that Scrooge McDuck would die. In. <laughs> Joe Biden's president break his neck. <laughs> oh man, I heard the best impression of Joe Biden the other day. Someone did an impression of Joe Biden in two thousand seven. It was uh, no, oh, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go run for, run for president with that colored fellow from work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is the 1993 movie in the last but not least category. Leonard gives it two stars. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cast members in the starring list. Watch two murders. All right, the bits about the synopsis that I can divulge <laughs> to the players of the game. Uh, I'm going to cut the first line in a half because the second half goes into the actual plot. So, noisy, smug, self-conscious blockbuster wannabe. Uh, da, 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 genuinely bad writing and an overall air of unpleasantness torpedo this film. Good action scenes and occasional clever ideas can't save it. A raft of cameo appearances adds to the in-joke tone of the picture. I feel like his review doesn't match his star rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's drunk. 
<laughs> We've already established. Yeah, yeah. established that you're I, I, movies I, may, I may give it a little higher based on nostalgia, but I haven't seen it in a while, so I can't okay. say. So there you have it, 1993. I can name it in... Uh, you said 16, right? Yep. Do I go off the order of the list here that's shown? Yeah. Okay. I think I should probably go my American braggadocio ways and say negative one. You whoa, mother fucker. Now, he, well, I was going to say, he's tuning his inner rain man like I was doing. Yeah. But his might be actually more, like, <laughs> knowledge, but whereas mine is just weirdness. <laughs> so I have to go minus two on this shit. That's a toughie. Yeah. It's not what I thought it was. Immediately I thought of something, and it was not what I was thinking. I think it might be a movie that we've already done, and because Justin hasn't listened to the previous episodes, <laughs> is doing it again. But Am I, I allowed to use previously used movies? It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I guess if, but yeah, if, if there's some sort of discussion. Even, so. even if it is the one I'm thinking of, which I don't know if it is, I can't go minus two, but I regrettably have to say name it to Nick and hope he's wrong. Uh, is it Last Action Hero, Arson, Arnold Schwarzenegger? That's the one. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we did use that. Exactly, exactly what I that. thought it was, and I don't know minus two. F. Murray Abraham. Yep. Fuck. Should have given it to me. I'm a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Toru Tanaka. <laughs> yes, he is on that list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was only used that as his work has got to work. It was in yeah, the wrestler's really. camera. Oh. That's right, because Toru Tanaka was in it. Oh, it's Toru Tanaka. All right. I wasn't sure if I heard that on your guys' show or on Doug's show. That was us. It was us. But it's also one of my all-time favorite movies, so... I, I think you think think mentioned it earlier. earlier. I was like, oh, it's Last Action Hero. So, uh, as soon as you kill them, like, fuck, Nick's gonna get it. <laughs> there was a great scene where he shoots a guy off a truck. A guy flies six feet into an ice cream truck, which then explodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first point. Right after that, an ice cream cone flies into a bad guy's head. It does! Like, yeah. It sticks right in his forehead. Yeah. Uh, so we'll movie. go with, uh, we'll go with Kelly and back oh, around okay. to Drew. Kelly to Drew. Okay. Okay, so Kelly, your categories are as follows. Mm. King's <laughs> Ransom, movies written by Stephen King. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I know <laughs> Uh, my personal favorite title I came up with. That's unbelievable. We yeah. starring Christian Bale. <laughs> <laughs> and the last category silly. is it's all about the Benjamins. Movies about bank robberies and or heists in general. King's Ransom. All right. King's I knew Ransom. it. As soon as you said I, it, I, like, you shouldn't you, even read the second two categories. You didn't need to read the other two categories. Yeah. For a second, I thought he was going to say movies where Stephen King is held for ransom. <laughs> 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 all right. King's I Ransom. I think of two. Okay, your years are 1992, 1986, or 1985. Good years. Good years. For King. Bad years. For, you. for me shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Especially 1992. <laughs> uh, you pants shitter. <laughs> 1992, when you were... Nine. 28? I was 28. 1992, <laughs> that's right. So 1992, 1985, and 1986. Correct. 86. All right. Let's run this. King 86. All right. Mr. Malton gives us three stars. You have two, four, six, eight actors listed. Acting! Acting! Ah, da, 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 da. Irresistible and wholly believable performances from all four youthful leads. Only complaint, the high volume of four-letter words decidedly not characteristic of the 1950s. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> True, I think the first line gave it away. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that you need to read anymore. I think nope. we, we all know what it is. Well, <laughs> you know what? No, I'm going to do. I'm going to make it hard. All right. So I'm going to say... Say that again. No. <laughs> just say what you said one more time. No, just say it. Just say Say what you said one more time. No. Just say it. Just say I don't want to say it. Say I'm going to make it hard. <laughs> <laughs> just say it. I'm halfway there. Just get me there. <laughs> 
I'm going to make it hard. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is John Travolta in there? <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> so I'm going to potentially screw myself on this. Good. Oh, geez. oh can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Negative two. Ugh. Ooh. Well, this isn't getting to me, so... Drew, what do you think about that? I'm gonna say negative three. <laughs> <laughs> don't show me... Don't, he's, oh, I Kelly. am... He is showing things to me. So I gotta name the four fucking kids in order if I want to play this. Yeah. Correct. No. Name it Drew. Okay, stand by me. Yep. River Phoenix. Go on. Corey Feldman. Go on. Uh, fucking... Damn it! What? <sighs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, but it could be the other one. Nick couldn't see it, but I was making, like... <laughs> fat kid Fat movement. kid movement. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, Jerry or... Oh, I think I'm going to regret this. Jerry Connell. Your order on the first two was in the right sequence, but both of those gentlemen were trumped by one Will Wheaton. Yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say Will Wheaton. Wheaton. Now, I should have thought of that, but I figured that River, River Phoenix at the time was bigger. Yeah. O'Connell was fourth, right? Yes. You know why? Yes. He's the foul. <laughs> That one's always last bill. Stamos, how does it feel to know that your wife is banging the fat kid from the stand? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! And and that was that was Leonard, Will Wheaton got top billing? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say Will Wheaton River Phoenix. Do you think that's the only saving grace that Will Wheaton actually, that doesn't make him kill himself every night? Uh, uh, mostly, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Pretty big part of it. Because there's a lot of stuff weighing on the other side. Leonard Maltin likes me, and Chris Hardwick will shove me into every show he does. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so Scott told me to name it. Uh, Kelly going Kelly to Nick. Nick. So Kelly, you choose. All right, Kelly, here are your categories this time around. Um, let's go, it's all about location again, so place names. I was going to do one like that, except I was going to call it Destination Truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, too. Uh... Nintendo do's and don'ts. Film adaptations of video games. Hmm. And uh, let's go back to uh, E.T. the Killer. I'll take the video game one. All right. Nintendo do's and don'ts. Nerd. Square. Look, I can only be one of those two things, guys. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh. <laughs> That's the show. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I can sort of believe you said that. Actually, I can't believe it's it. It's not like it was out of character, so. Okay. You just made your armor. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thanks, ESPN writer. <laughs> There's a slanty eyed yellow person in your armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just remember that the one was. <laughs> Jackie Chan should make a medieval movie and call it The Chink in the Armor. <laughs> uh, Alright, what do we got here? Oh, all this racism is killing me inside. <laughs> is it killing you inside, or is it making you love the fact that you're white? Uh, it's so easy. <laughs> Alright, 1994, 2005, or 2006. What category is this? I'm drunk. Video games. Okay. 1995. Video games into a yeah. mover. I didn't... Did I say 1995? I think 1994. Oh, okay. Or 2005. 1994. 94. All right. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Bomb. Donkey Kong Country, the movie. 1994 video game movies. What oh, we got man, here? Man. Leonard gives it one and one half stars. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stars in this movie. And I use stars in the loosest sense possible. <laughs> <laughs> the only line I can give. Sometimes lively, but mostly silly and tedious. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, just 
to me, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, oh, that was a good one. Well, seeing as, uh, I have a feeling I have the year wrong, but it's the only thing I can really think of, so I'm going to go with it and say negative three. Wow. I okay. think I'm thinking along the same lines as that guy. Negative three to you, Nick. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. But I, like I said, I have a feeling I think you're wrong. I can only think of three. Me too. I can think I of two. I have a horrible poker face. <laughs> <laughs> um. I gotta say, name that movie. All right. Uh, boy. I'm going to say Super Mario Brothers, Bob Hoskins, John Guzano, and Dennis Hopper. Wrong, 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 and yeah, wrong. I, Whoa! I, I wow. Wow. That's what I was thinking, but I think Mario's 93, isn't I it? I think it was 93. I believe it is 93. Yeah. So, with that out, what? well, what read us some names and let's see I what will, we can do I'll go it. from the bottom up. And listen, Nick, did you, did you think it was something else? Uh, no, I, that's exactly what I thought yeah. it was. All right. I think more I would have gone into. Here, here's the thing. that The one and only line I give could describe any video game movie. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. Duck Hunt. Mortal Kombat's 95, right? Yeah, 95. Yeah. Okay. All right, here are the actors in the film. From the bottom up. George Hamilton. Okay. Vanna White. What? Michael Berryman. Did they make a Wheel of Fortune movie? <laughs> Alyssa Milano. That should be the first giveaway. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. Leon Russum. John Mallory Asher, Christina Melandro Wagner, Julia Nixon, Scott Wolf, Mark DeCascos, and Robert Patrick. Double Dragon. Double Dragon. That's the one. Oh, fucker. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's another point to Nick, isn't it? I don't know why. That is a point to Nick. Double Dragon was kind of in my head, but I'm like... I hated that movie. By I, I could not tell I you anyone it. who was in it, though. I remember seeing it as a kid and just absolutely hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it since, so maybe I won't hate it as an adult. Much like other movies I've seen that I thought so. I hated when I was a kid and don't hate now. <laughs> uh, Drew, going to me. Ah, All right, Drew, these are your categories. Bring it on, Big China. I'm going to keep throwing each of the killer up there. Okay. He likes them. That's I like movies it. with one in there? Correct. Uh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least. That's cute. Uh, I'll go unbelievable. All right, unbelievable. I know his business pretty well. I know his business too. Do you? Okay, I'm in the business of giving you the business, <laughs> and business is booming. God. Uh, I'm to pass does, does, that on. By you know his business, do you mean completely wrecking his body? I know movies. That's what I'm saying. I know his, his business is making movies, okay. and I know movies. All right, unbelievable. Your films are from the following years. Uh, 1994, 2000, and 2002. Uh, we'll say... 2002. All right. Just to be clear, does anybody else hear those bats? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there are bats around us somewhere. Batman. Hey, we're talking about Christian Bale. They showed up. Hmm. Are these yeah, movies he stars in, or just movies he's in? He's, he's, he's in. in. Not necessarily the star. Correct. But I can think of very few movies that he's in that he's not the star. Might not be the star of the 94 oh, one. Yeah. Leonard Maybe gives play. it two stars. Okay. okay. Oh, I should have picked 2,000! Yeah, I know you should have. Yeah, Damn it! Well, it was. <laughs> well, that would be harder for everyone. <laughs> All right, there are two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine actors involved. Two stars, you said? Two stars. Okay, let's hear about it. Um, <laughs> I can give one line. Okay. It's hard to care about any of the characters in this dour story. Okay. So clearly Leonard did not think much of this film. Yeah. What do you think, Drew? Okay, I, I ha it, again, it goes back to the thing I say every time is you hear a category, you hear a year, and you, you, you automatically a have a movie in your head, yeah. and then whether or not it fits that description yeah. or not. My movie fits that description because it was very vague, <laughs> but oh, I can't. Psychology. I'm, I'm not sure about the year, but I, I, I gotta say negative two. Fuck. 
Woof. Uh, I had make it in my life. I had really negative one in my head. Difficult. Christian Bale? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, it was not the category. I, I, I remember having a category on one of the ones before we were recording, and it was like a certain person, and Scott, before you hear anything, goes, negative one. Because you're like, because you yeah. figured whoever the first person was was automatically first failing. Yeah. I don't think they were. Yeah. But I think it got to, like, something else, like negative two, but I don't think you had to name it, but... Yeah. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I, I, I say negative two, and it goes to you. To me, you? yeah. Um, well, I don't think negative three... Have we done negatives on almost every movie yeah. so far? I think so. We're fucking pros. Uh, really. I, <laughs> no, because we... Yeah, whatever. I got my categories are pretty straightforward, and yeah. well, movies that we I got one like. wrong, Kelly got one wrong, so we're not actually... Nick was actually, gifted one. Nick was gifted one, so... <laughs> yeah. So you, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I gotta say, name that movie on mine too. Okay, is the movie the epic thriller involving dragons, <laughs> Reign of Fire? Go on. And the la- actors are Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey. Nailed it. Wow, Damn, I know my Reign of Fire, but well, I played. Who's the girl, though? That's the thing. Is, like, yeah. I couldn't remember who the girl is. That's one. I think the dragon is third build. No? <laughs> now, my what I was thinking was Shaft, because he's the bad guy. Shaft. Oh, yeah. But I think that was the bad Totally. Movie. You know why I remember that movie is because me and my... Okay, I'm not going to say good friend. I'm going to say vague acquaintance. Um, Summers. Tristan. Yeah. We had had a falling out during high school, and this was the very first time. This is the reason. <laughs> this is the very first time. This is the very first time we'd hung out in like two, since like grade nine because we got in some big argument. I don't remember what the hell it was about. And this was the movie we went to see, and it was Reaping me and him and one dude by himself in the theater <laughs> watching this movie. Rain of Fire was your like reconciliation. Our reconciliation was Rain of Fire, starring Matthew McConaughey. I feel like there had to be something better playing that week. I will also <laughs> throw a random fact that this is also a movie starring a very early role for Gerard Butler. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Hmm. He's a uh, Bale's friend. He's Bale's friend. Yeah. Who gets burned alive? <laughs> Anybody cares? The Spoilers. female character. It was uh, played by Isabella Scarupo. Huh. Uh, what else is she? In? Would have been a while before. Uh, yeah, some, movie. some European flicks. I know the name. But it's yeah, point for me. Kelly, you suck. <laughs> so who's Because you have zero. So <laughs> we are going, Kelly going to Nick. Alright, Kelly, your categories are uh, last but not least uh, it's all about location <laughs> let's keep trying to get you to the killer going. Trying to get the catch on. Yes, that's right. Let's go with the locations. All right, locations, locations. You probably need to talk louder. (laughs) Yeah, mumbles. No. Uh, Shit. You probably need to talk louder. Who? You. I'm good. I'll just gather the headboard to keep getting the list. I'll use those next. If, you're, if there is a next, if Nick gets one right, he wins. Oh, shit, that's right. Hey, don't fucking gift Nick another one. Don't fuck yourself, Scott. Oh, is that loud enough for you? <laughs> 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 I have been <laughs> you, so, you got totally <laughs> completely shamed. <laughs> your movies are from the following years. 1987, 1988, and 1991. Sorry, what was the category? Places. Okay. Places. It's all about location. So it's like a city or a state, state, or a town state or a country. Or... Okay, gotcha. In the in the title. Yes. Okay. okay. Township. Hamlet. The village. Hamlet. The village. A village. A village. Hamlet. Let's go with 1991. 1991. All right. Got it. Do I got it? I don't know. I don't. I hope it's the same one that got used with Dan last time. Alright, Leonard, no. give this film <laughs> two <laughs> and one half no. stars. Two and one half? Two and one half. Pretty average for the The film is starring two, four, six, eight, nine actors. Okay. Description I can give as follows. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I can give half a line. Film opens terrifically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Da, 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 another half line, many potent scenes. 
Hmm. Uh, this may be a bit of a giveaway. I don't know. Coke status is assured. Okay. Okay, Chewie, you need to start picking movies that you can read reviews for. <laughs> no. You need to pre-scout these. Completely <laughs> unhelpful reviews. Yeah, you've gotten a good review this whole time. I can read two no, words. You guys can read movies. Stand okay, stand maybe you could, but yeah. I can read two words. <laughs> Interesting. With Leonard. And movie. <laughs> written poorly. <laughs> and there's uh, nine, nine names. Yeah, nine names, two and a half stars, 1991. All right, I'll break the trend and say nine. Ooh, All right, hi. Nick. I actually couldn't really hear what you said. Oh, uh, my apologies. So 1991, two and a half stars. A little bit that you can say. Oh, uh, the bits that I can say. Oh, it All was right. fucking useless. It's <laughs> pretty useless. Film opens terrifically. da 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 Many potent scenes. da 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 Cult status is assured. Um... I'll go eight names. Seven. Uh, name it, Scott. Ooh. Seven names, name it. Seven yeah, names. I, I couldn't do six, so... These seven names from the bottom. Yeah. Fudo Kier. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Tom Troop. Cruz. Troop. His brother. Make okay. It. His brother. T R O U P E. T R O U P E. Grace Zabriski. Flea. Of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. So that's four names. Rodney Harvey. Rodney Harvey. William Richard. And the last name that he will William be allowed. Richard. James Russo. If you had the two above, any of those two, it would probably help quite a bit more. Although that said, it's probably still quite difficult. Gee, thanks, Fuck. thanks, tips for giving us the. If you had everybody, you'd probably know the movie. Uh, you may not even know the movie. You knew everybody. Oh, this is. Yeah, I just wanted to be a cocky dick, so ignore me. This is not good for business. Ninety-one, two and a half stars has a location in the title. Correct. Well, I think we got to do this by the process of elimination. Fargo was not in nineteen. <laughs> 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 right, you gotta start this year. Don't, don't, don't make me smother you. <laughs> I was wondering how long I could I could do that for before I completely <laughs> lost everyone. Um, fuck ninety one. Ugh. Uh, I gotta say something. There's some street racing going on in my street, though. Those names helped very little. Correct. I must say. I feel like, didn't we have a flea movie last time, too, with Dan? Yeah, uh, Fear, Fear, Fear and Loathing yeah. in Las Vegas. Huh. Yeah, but it ain't that, because it ain't 91. I will give you a connection between that film and this one later. Well, good for you. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Home Diaries, because that's 2010. And doesn't have a place in the title, yeah. We can, I think we can confirm. Oh, Rome. Rome, 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 Rome County, Jamaica. No, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Yeah, I got nothing. Is going to Nick? No, it goes to Drew. Oh, it goes to Drew. It goes to Drew. Yeah. Oh, okay. The two billings above yeah. Mr. James Russo are Keanu Reeves and River Phoenix. I still don't know it. <laughs> the film My Own Private Idaho. Uh, I've heard. I've never heard, heard of it. it. Never. I eh, maybe uh, heard of it. Def- never, never seen it. Yeah. Connection with Fear and Loathing. They are both Criterion films. Huh. Yeah, no, I've definitely heard of it. Definitely have not seen it. Definitely don't didn't know anyone but Keanu was in it. Mm. A lot of River Phoenix things. Yeah, and I have True. a River Phoenix category, what? so what? he might be loaded with a lot of River Phoenix things. You guys know he's fucking dead, right? <laughs> the, the wrong, wrong son died. The wrong yes. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> things also said about Chris Penn. <laughs> oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What do you got against Joaquin? River, you you saw him on Letterman, right? <laughs> Ruining any good faith he ever had. <laughs> he's actually he's in a new movie called The Master, which looks really odd. Oh, that's the new uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. PT! Yeah. Him and uh, my, mo- my movie doppelganger, <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman. 
All right, so who gets the next choice? Uh, I told Scott to name it, so it goes Nick, Nick going to Kelly. Nick to Kelly, so Nick gets right. to choose. Where are the categories Nick that I have may determine his fate here, as he has two points already, playing the three. So do I. So do, but this, there's no way this is coming to you. Okay. And if it does... He's going negative 14. Yeah, Nick is going negative 14. to you, Anna Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's going negative 14 in a movie with eight actors. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to hammer home E.T. the Killer. The next category, which hasn't been announced before because I forgot to put on my list of categories that I have. Remember, remember, films that were number one in the box office on the weekend on which November 5th occurred. <laughs> and it's all about the Benjamins. Uh, bank robberies and or heist films. That Remember, Remember is a deep title. <laughs> um, let's go with the bank heist ones. All right. Top of the Benjamins, it is. Your movie years are as follows. 1995, uh, 2001, and 1996. 1995. 1995, it is. All right. 95. I'm giving you brainwaves of what it might be because I think I know it. Uh, I, I think know. I know it too. It? I will know it if I, once I hear how many people are in it. Me it? too! <laughs> what was the category? This could be trouble, Drew. Uh, bank heist or robbery movies. 1995. bank heist film, three stars. Mine should be four. Your film started at two, four, six, eight, nine actors. Uh, not what I thought it was! <laughs> uh. Do you still think you know it? Maybe. I mm. have to hear some review parts. This is actually a pretty decent review that I can that I can divulge. Congratulations. Hey. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> Shink. God damn it. <laughs> Logic and motivation take a backseat to big scale action in this nonstop roller coaster ride. It's like watching 12 chapters of a high-tech Saturday matinee serial all at once. 1995, three stars, two, four, six, eight, nine actors. That doesn't sound like the movie I was thinking it was. Yeah, it's not the one I was thinking either. Very disappointed in all this. Uh, I'll go with nine. Just to play it safe. Uh, okay. Eight. Look, I'm getting ballsy because I'm going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say zero names. I'm going to say name that movie. I'm going to say that I'm incorrect on this movie. <laughs> I was hoping Scott would say negative one or two, nope. and I can call him on it. I am <laughs> thinking you're wrong. I'm going to say point break. <laughs> I don't think that's the right year. The names from the bottom. Fire it up. Sam Phillips. Nick Wyman. Richard Wyman. <laughs> Anthony Dude. Peck. Larry Brigman. Colleen Camp. Graham Green. Yep. These are yep. so little help so far. Samuel L. Jackson. He's a person. Jeremy Irons. Also a person. And Bruce Willis. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hard with a vengeance. Point two, Scott. Scott. Nick two, Drew two, Scott two, and Kelly is also playing. Hey, <laughs> Kelly is sitting here. <laughs> All right. So who uh, gets to choose this time around? Kelly uh, is playing the role of Justin Chu tonight, <laughs> <laughs> which, oh, will, which will later, which will later be filled by Justin, Justin Chu. Chu. <laughs> Kelly's Justin's understudy for this one. Uh, this is Kelly going to Nick. Anyone but Kelly gets the points, they get the win. And get the host. Unless and Nick wins. Yep. And Nick gets the host, unless Nick wins. Well, in probably put these away, then. <laughs> 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 hey, I made a comeback against Chewy, so no, you can I'm not going to be. I was not happy about that, by the way. You know what, Kelly? You're not going to make one with that attitude. Oh. Wait, you suck it, Scott. <laughs> All right. Uh, so who's choosing again, sorry? Uh, Kelly going to know it. All right, Kelly. Uh, remember, remember. Uh, E.T. the Killer. <laughs> He's really pushing that one. Let me push it until somebody fucking chooses it. He has 20 movies in that category. <laughs> I have in each category. I have 20 in one of my categories. And, uh, let's go, uh, 
uh, location again. Again with Itchy. Or <laughs> itchy. Itchy. Itchy and Scratchy. Itchy, itchy and, and Scratchy, scratchy the Killers. Itchy and Scratchy the Killers. Okay, here we go. So that is a movie with one, one title? title? Correct. We have... Uh, we got... What do we got here? We got... Uh, 1968. 1997. Or... 2001. Pick the one I want. Yeah, pick the one I want. Nick, which one do you want? <laughs> I want the one that you guys want. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 1968. That's the one I want! That's the one I want! 19... I'm not happy. <laughs> 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 I'm not happy. Nineteen Four stars. It's what I thought it was. Out of seven. Out of seven. Team. <laughs> Starring four oh. actors. Ooh. That throws me off a little bit, yeah, but little let's, bit, yeah. let's hear some more. <laughs> All right. Uh, a unique masterpiece, immensely influential. That's all I can say. Wow. To Kelly. To you, yeah. Right. Uh, I could say one more thing. Uh, a visual feast. Also, you're gay. <laughs> you're gay. Left my Facebook on, and I'm gay. <laughs> so it goes. That is not what I was saying, no. Go with your heart. I was I'll say negative one. Ooh. Negative one to you, Nick. Name that movie. Ooh. Is it uh, one for the cuckoo's nest? Check it. Incorrect. Oh, that's what I thought. See, it's, no, I think that it's Cuckoo's Nest is sixty-eight or sixty-nine, but um, the there's four, really more than the four, four actors threw me out. There's got to be. There's definitely more than four. Christopher in Lloyd, Dan Devito, yeah, big eight native guy, yeah. <laughs> big chief Thunderrod. <laughs> yeah, that totally fucked the me. four the actors in this film, which probably will help nobody. <laughs> Daniel Richter, Gary Lockwood, William Sylvester, and Keir Dulia. And, it's got, and also the visual thing, because it's yeah, not like Cougar's Nest was that right visual. Right. So what the fuck are we talking about? The <laughs> film, to close up this round of the game, yes. as Nick has won it, mm -hmm. is 2001 won A Space, Space Odyssey. Odyssey. Uh, I've seen it. I have seen the first half and fallen asleep. <laughs> it is not a fast-paced movie. <laughs> so there you have it. We have played two games, Nick has won both. This is going, unfortunately, like I thought it would. <laughs> well, and then okay, now we have to take his word he's not cheating. Wow. And we do have to take his word that he's not cheating. <laughs> Which he assured us many times to the point that it became suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'm not going to cheat. Uh, so, Nick, you are again picking who hosts. Uh, that isn't named Justin. Uh, Kelly. Yay. Kelly. Yay. You're going to have the magic pad. Awesome. Now, for my categories, I've been kind of working on them and off them. And actually, most of the ones I was afraid weren't going to be on there were actually on there. Uh, but I only have uh, one. <coughs> I only have four categories, but one of them has an, a huge number of movies. Okay. So, so that one will probably be listed every single time? Yes. <laughs> Thus concludes part one of I Suck Sticks Heart Cinema episode six. Come right back for episode 6.5 as soon as it's uploaded. And, uh, you know, we left you with a lot of cliffhangers, so I can't imagine why you wouldn't uh, want to come back. You know, uh, is, uh, is Drew going to call Justin a chink again? You know, it's questions like this that we think are going to keep you coming back. So we'll see you soon in episode 6.5.